Hey Gearsluts, uh, hi there. We're looking at the uh, Mackie Big Knob Studio Plus and it's a 2 in 4 out audio interface and also it has um, 6 input channels. Two of these channels have got the Mackie Onyx uh, mic preamps. I think supply 48 volt fan power and you can um, put a stereo spread on there which links them right and left in the stereo field and it's got independent controls um, there's a, a talkback mic built in and you've got a talkback level there um, this is the monitor control this side really and we have a monitor dial this input meter in at the top there and I'm just going to Uh, you, you, you can see the input level there, which at the moment is coming from USB. Okay, so we're in the monitor section with a, a mono there, a mute, and a dim. So um, that, that's the monitor section there. We, we've got a monitor select, there's three sets of outputs. There's also a studio out as well, which is independent. That could go to you know, PA or, or whatever. Um, what have we got down here is the Q, Q buttons for the Q mix. These go to headphones. We select both two track or Q there. The two headphone outputs. Um, I found, find these very, very nice. I've tried them with the AKG K702s and the new Adam SP5s. And they're, they're nice headphone amps. You know, they're not high end ones, but they're great. They don't hurt your ears. And there's more monitoring, monitoring selection here, um, and we've got an input there for a device. Um, I made a song using the Onyx preamps, first up the guitar. in the field One of those moments You're not sure what's real Not sure what's real I saw her in twilight She's dreaming of dawn Like a night flower Like a night flower White stick in hand She's blind to the world But she knows who I am Knows who I am I saw her in twilight She's dreaming of dawn Like a night flower She saw further than me She saw right through the night Saw her at midnight She's dreaming of dawn Like a night flower And she's gone An Arabian queen Oh, she's gone from the scene I saw her in twilight So, she's dreaming of dawn. 
I've really enjoyed using this and for, for the money, which I think is pretty, pretty cheap, um, maybe I'll put the price up on the video, uh, it's really good value, you know, you can, it's got a vibe to it, you can make nice music, it's warm, you know, you can argue um, that there are better interfaces or whatever, but at the end of the day, it comes down to enjoying what it is, whatever the price, right? And I like this. As soon as I plugged the guitar in, or I tracked the DI guitar, as soon as I plugged an SM58 in, I thought, wow, this is quite a nice sound. And these Onyx preamps got quite a wide sweet spot as well, whereas a lot of other budget uh, mic preamps have a kind of narrower sweet spot, right? So a little bit harder to use. Anyway, I'll put the whole track up um, in better quality. This is just coming out of the speakers, right? So, um, anyway, yeah, um, no real criticisms of this at all. I mean, it has a, um, um, there's nothing garish about it. It's very well built, it's solid, sits on the desk well. The monitor section is nice. Um, you start to lose the stereo image with the headphone amps and this a little at, uh, you know, really minute volumes, you can hardly hear it. In fact, you, you can only really hear that disparity on headphones. Um, there's plenty of gain on tap as well, which is nice. You know, if you're using diverse elements in the studio, maybe unbalanced and balanced gear and so forth, it's nice to have a little extra gain. Uh, I never felt that was short on here. The only visual problem, this is tilted, which is nice. You can, the writing's clear. But the meter's obscured a little bit. But there again, you can, you know, at least tell when it's going over. So, um, yeah. Anyway, all the best gear sluts. Uh, great unit. Thoroughly recommend it for a load of different people. Pe people starting out. Um, or, you know, in, in more professional situations as well. And the... Um, I, th I think the downside, right, is that there's only two input channel available at one time right to record into your door so although you can have four outs you can kind of do loop back stuff and re retracking um, you're going to need a separate mixer or something if you want to do you know record a, um, a few instruments like a drum kit and a guitar and a vocalist at the same time so that's the only limitation there but you know uh, you're not paying a lot of money either, right? So for a lot of people, this is going to be a real perfect unit. All the best now. Bye.